All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. And again, we do have some scattered showers and rumbles of thunder as we head into this May day. And we do have some a smattering of thunder shower activity. A little bit of lightning in northwest Minnesota with hit and miss showers across lakes country. A lot of this not reaching the ground, but a few drops on your windshield not out of the question. Where we have more concentrated showers as forecast out to the west, approaching Devil's Lake, approaching Jamestown. Much needed rain in these areas. Uh, where we have uh, extreme drought conditions in the valley and take a look at Western Benson County Maddock having sh uh, showers and thunder showers swirl around. We're not expecting any severe weather from these storms. That's not anticipated, but you will get some lightning and some brief heavy rain. And look at this not moving too far over the last one hour here. So some beneficial rain in Benson County and that stretches down into Wells County here for Harvey as well. Now look at Jamestown and point south. We have organized thunder and lightning moving east. It's moving at about 20 miles per hour. Lamore, one shower just exited your area, another pushing in. These are pushing more northeast at about 20 miles per hour. But factor that in and we'll track this line of showers and storms moving into the Jamestown area by 438. So just at the end of this broadcast, some of the heavier shower line will be approaching your area. Elsewhere, we have hit and miss showers that have been passing through the Grand Forks area, as we showed you on the time lapse moments ago. Grafton, Park River, and good old Lincoln seeing some passing sprinkles of rain in Walsh County as we head into the evening hours. Notice we're getting dashes of spotty uh, stuff in the Southern Valley this evening. And again, the more organized activity off to the west. Where is it heading? In our general direction. The rest of the nation, shh really quiet tonight. All right, we're looking in on a shower right now that's approaching or the one that was uh, just off near Maddox uh, outside of Devil's Lake from our home of economy view. But at Hector right now, temperature lovely 71 degrees 72 at Moorheads Airport. Our wind from the south is gusting over 20 miles per hour and we do see some 70s, the warmest weather again along the international border. Some mid 70s recorded there today. 66 in Fergus Falls right now. With rain showers making their way in and around Jamestown, it's cooled to 64 degrees for you. Tonight, the shower and thunder shower activity between now and 10 o'clock will slowly creep its way into the valley. Remember, hit and miss stuff out across Minnesota. So the best chance will be in eastern North Dakota and the Red River Valley. Overnight, this kind of falls apart, dries up a little bit. We cannot rule out a few showers here or there. But then as we head towards daybreak, the clouds linger and hit and miss sprinkles here or there. Temperatures near 50 degrees. South wind returns. Now, the first part of the day, pretty good. Take a look out west. Sunshine aplenty there. The clouds and shower chances have then shifted east. So the best chance of showers and storms Friday afternoon in the heat of the day will get them firing up. The axis will be right near the Red River Valley and points east. So our Minnesota counties will have a better chance at seeing some of these more soaking thunder showers for the afternoon and evening hours. Tomorrow, once again, well after sunset, these should wrap up. And again, they'll bring a few tenths of an inch underneath the gully washers. We may see some of you getting upwards of a half of an inch of rain. 50 in the morning in Fargo. Can't rule out a sprinkle as we go through the day, particularly in the afternoon with a rumble of thunder showing up here in the four o'clock hour with temperatures still near 70 degrees, much like today. Then later in the evening, our clouds begin to break apart and we are setting the stage for an awesome weekend. Full bucket of awesome too. Will you see this? Ryan capturing the beautiful scene here. That is Little Corbin Sunrise. Thanks so much for sharing your photo. Now, all right, take a look at Saturday. 73 degrees for the walleye opener. Good luck to all you anglers out there in Minnesota. Have fun, be safe. 76 degrees with a spotty sprinkle here or there, but mostly there because most of us won't see anything at all. How about next week? Woohoo! That's right. 80s aplenty as uh, we celebrate the 80s in style as we go through next week. And we cannot rule out a spit or a sprinkle here or there, but by and large, looks like some warm summer like weather. Maybe we can run through some sprinklers next week. I hope so, Hutch. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. From good to better. Thanks. All right, you bet. With summer on the way and people.